One of the things that I was thinking about recently is the fact that, you know, you'll find his work being done a lot in places where there's a lot of civil strife and in war zones and in famine zones because his work is extremely accessible to people who have, whose lives have been reduced to the basic and the fundamentals. But the whole point is we're picking up on the spirit of Beckett and accessibility and how it touches upon our lives in so many different ways that his work does, of course. Uh, we're doing this in a way which is really accessible. And we're doing this in a way which I think is also important is not just the legacy of Beckett, but the legacy of the festival itself and how we build this up over the years and how this city, which is a sort of a, a reflection of all of the things you've said. You know, this is not a particularly materialistic place. It's a, it's a place that's had a hard time, mm -hmm. Thatcherism, poverty, mm -hmm. crime, etc. So, so, so it's, it is an apt place to do this. Yes, it is, it is. And uh, for me, who, someone who was born in 1958, of course, Liverpool was the first big city of my imagination as a centre of culture and creativity in particular. Yeah. And of course, it hasn't stopped being that. You no. know, that, all those links, I'm hoping that, you know, those kind of nerve endings will all start joining up when we do this and we can bring a lot of people together around this project. Mm -hmm.